Hello fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to cut bias strips. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. The supplies that you're going to need for cutting your bias strip is a straight edge ruler, preferably one that allows you to cut different widths that you may require for your sewing project. The next thing you're going to need is a rotary cutter and most definitely a cutting mat. In order to make your bias strips, you need to make sure that you're working with the grain of the fabric. Here I've got a square piece of fabric and the straight of grain is that way and the cross grain is that way. Now we're creating bias strips so we need to work diagonally. And in order to do that, we need to fold our fabric in half. If you can, um, keep the selvage. If not, just make sure that you've straightened all the edges. You take one point and bring it over to the other. So you're creating a triangular shape. And then you take another point and you fold your triangle in half to create another triangular shape. And then the next thing to do is get the other another point and fold it down like so. So you end up with a shape like that. Now that I've got my fabric folded, the next step is to cut away these folds here and then just get rid of those, you don't need them. Get my ruler, just a couple of millimetres, place it along there, apply as much pressure as you need because you don't want this to shift and then get your rotor cutter open it up get your blade and just run it along the edge of your ruler just do it one more time just to make sure yeah there we go and discard that and next thing to do is because I need to turn my ruler around this way because I'm going to be using these lines here to determine the width that I want for the bias strip. So you can get rulers that are either in centimetres or inches, whichever you prefer to work with. Mine are in centimetres. So now I'm going to put my ruler there. I'm kind of working the opposite way around so that you can actually see what I'm doing and get my blade, rotary cutter and run it along the edge here. Now I've cut my bias strip, all you then need to do is just continue to whatever the amount, the width that you need for your bias until you come to the end. And this is what your bias strip will look like. This should come out in two pieces I believe, yeah there we go. So there we have our bias strips. Well, I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. You can use bias strips in many different ways. You can use it for covering cord, for piping cord. You can use it as making bias tape. Um, you can use it as a decorative trim to any of your sewing projects. If you have any questions or queries, please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.